dance now. And this is this next dance is a um, well, it's an Egyptian cabaret dance, kind of the dancing that's done in the cabarets in and around Cairo. To dance for you now in this dance, the tune so here, the dancer Yasmina. is a musician. She's another part of the music. She's the musician. She is to be the visible representation of the music. There's an interaction. You've got like this interaction going between you and the musicians. And that's what's exciting. That's, to me, that's what's exciting. And I dance best when I'm not in a costume, when I'm listening to great music, and I'm just jamming. It's not about performing. It's not about performing. You know, in the beginning, in the beginning stage, you're a beginner. You don't know anything. You're terrible. Second level, you start to know something and you start to know that you don't know very much, but, but you can see that, that it's possible that you could learn. The third stage you get to is where you've mastered the steps, you've mastered the technique, and you're, you, and you're good. You're good enough to perform, and, and sometimes you get those really high spots, but, but you haven't moved into that place where it's about the fourth level, where you know you know nothing, you know that you'll always be learning this, and you realize that, that it is about something more than performing and look at me. That's not what it's about. see in me that they like, the thing that people, that makes people smile, is my connection with them. Not that I'm doing something so technically incredible, but that some of the joy that I feel about what I'm doing comes out. And that's what I see in that, and when I see that in a dancer, I mean, I see lots of technically great dancers, but I see very little joy or, or connection. And I only see that, I only see that when I see people dancing to live music. I've never seen it to canned music. 